So when can we use Dormectin Poron on a dairy farm? Well, we can use it when we're drying off cows as a parasite treatment. We treat it the same as Ivermectin, so we need to ensure that we have at least two months between drying off and calving, so it's got a two month milk withdrawal. However, if we have already used a, a warmer during grazing, it's probably gonna have been a Prinamectin because it's the only one we can use that has a zero milk withdrawal. And that's in the same family as Doramectin. So from a best practice, anthelmintic resistance avoidance point of view, we probably should be opting for a white wormer at drying off instead. Doramectin poron has definitely got a place with R1 first season dairy calves. They're very, very naive, very, very vulnerable to worm infection. So what we can do is we can use the likes of a Doramectin at certain intervals that allow the calf some exposure to worms to develop their own natural immunity but not too much exposure that they become overwhelmed with the negative symptoms of, for example, lung worm and gut worm. So that protocol would look like a Doramectin treatment at three weeks post turnout, and then again at 11 weeks post turnout, and then at 19 weeks, we come along and take a fecal sample and weigh the calf to see if they need another treatment. If we stick really tightly to those three and 11 week treatment protocol days, and don't introduce any more calves into the group or any animals into the group, and keep the calves on the same pasture area for the whole season, we should not need another worm treatment after that 11 week treatment.